Hello and welcome to today's lesson on the fate of the universe, which is part of the astrophysics topic in AQAA level physics. So in today's lesson, we're going to review the implications of the hot Big Bang model, which links into the following part of the AQAA level astrophysics section in the physics uh, course, where we're going to look at 3.9.3.2 Hubble's law. Now we think from the hot Big Bang model that the universe originated as a hot dense region of matter. Now over time the universe has expanded and cooled and this allowed gravity to take over, matter clumped together and this is how we got stars and planets. But what will happen to the universe as it continues to evolve in the future? Now there are concepts which are crucial to understanding the fate of the universe as it's been pondered what will happen to the universe in the distant future. And there are two forces acting on the universe which can affect its overall fate. The first one is gravitational attraction pulling the universe inwards, which is caused by the dark matter and the visible matter of the universe. But you've also got dark energy causing the expansion of the universe. Now the relative sizes of dark matter and dark energy can lead to how the universe will evolve in the distant future. If the expansion force is larger than the attractive force, then the universe will expand forever. This is called an open universe. But if the expansion force is the same as the attractive force, then the universe will stay the same size, which we call the flat universe. But if the expansion force is smaller than the attractive force, the universe will decrease back to a singularity, which is called the closed universe. So we can show this on the following graph, looking at the closed universe, flat universe and open universe. Now for a long time, astrophysics didn't know which model the universe will take. However, this changed when, uh, when we observed distant standard candles in our universe, because the observations of distant supernovae in 1999 indicate that the expansion of the universe is is increasing, implying an open universe. Now we can show this on the following graph, because in the previous lesson we considered Hubble's law. Now Hubble's law states that the recession velocity is directly proportional to the distance from the Earth. Now this implies the expansion of the universe is constant as the line of best fit on this graph is straight, so we can extrapolate this trend for more distant objects. So in 1999 we measured the most distant type 1a supernovae. So so if Hubble's law is to be obeyed, then they should be found on the trend line. So here's our expected result for the type 1a supernova. However, when the redshift of the supernovae were observed, they showed that these objects were receding faster than they should do. The supernovae had been redshifted more than expected. So this implies that the trend on the Hubble's law graph is increasing, which implies that the expansion of the universe is accelerating. So whilst there is constant acceleration at one point in our universe, there is now accelerating uh, expansion of the universe. Now this is controversial as we don't know why this is the case. We do not understand the physics of this acceleration. However, this conclusion was further confirmed with redshift observed from quasars, which are even more distant objects than the type 1a supernovae we observed first. So let's just clarify a few things. We understood that the universe is most likely to be an open universe as the type 1a supernovae had greater redshifts and recession velocity than predicted by Hubble's law. This indicates that the expansion of the universe is not constant constant, rather it is accelerating. Now this is controversial as the concept of dark energy is not fully understood. It's now thought that the, the expansion of the universe was decelerating until about 5 billion years ago, but the expansion of the universe is now accelerating. Now dark energy is accepted to exist in the universe according to current thinking, however we do not know its mechanism origin and interaction with the rest of the universe. We are, as the name suggests, in the dark regarding it. Now we are fundamentally unsure as to how the universe will evolve as we're very close to the start of the universe. We are in relative terms close to the big bang of our universe. So what should we be able to do? Have a qualitative treatment of the big bang theory including evidence from cosmological microwave background radiation and the relative abundance of hydrogen and helium which then links into the overall phase of our universe. So if we've been successful and learnt in today's lesson, we should understand the role of dark energy in the expansion of the universe. So I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson on the fate of the universe, which is part of the astrophysics topic in AQAA level physics. Thank you very much for watching and as always, 
Have a lovely day.